Oh, hello, folks. Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again. I'm still on my nostalgia kick. Nostalgia. The good old days. The good old days of collecting hot toys and all that jazz. Why won't you uh, take a moment and join me? Let's time travel. Let's time travel back to 2018. 2018 San Diego Comic Con, and let's revisit some of the stuff that Hot Toys teased us and never released. Now, this is Neo, of course. We know that Neo was released. It uh, sold out really, really well. I did not want to commit to Neo simply because there was no commitment. There was no purpose. Where was Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith was teased in 2018. Looking all badass, looking all good. Look at that. The Matrix. If you're going to tease Mr. Smith, where are the twins? Where is Trinity? Where is the gang? No commitment. <sighs> what a shame. That would have been a badass. Star Wars Attack of the Clones. You guys know I love my droids. I love collecting the droids. Look at this beauty. Attack of the Clones, a C-3PO, teased back in 2018. I was looking forward to this. I'll be honest, I really, really was looking forward to this. Uh, Hot Toys is known to flex. It's no big secret. They like to show off. Look what we can do. We're Hot Toys. This is what we can do. Uh, the Vulture was by no means an exception. They teased it. I call shenanigans on this one. I was very 50-50, and in the end, by 2019... Uh, with no little to no evidence of Hot Toys ever releasing this beauty, um, I gave up on it. Did not hold my breath. This thing was gorgeous. One of the privileges of visiting a San Diego Comic Con is admiring their uh, flexing mighty. And the Vulture was uh, come and gone. Speaking of that, uh, the Black Panther. Remember the Black Panther? Now, they did release the throne, but they never released uh, this version, the T'Challa with the throne. I guess the sandals weren't, uh, weren't helping, weren't helping in the fix. So, uh, this was nice. This, you know, not for me, but I know folks out there were looking forward to this. Uh, speaking of teasing, uh, the Wasp. Now, I know, I know, Denobi, the Wasp has gone into pre-order. She's going to get released. Well, it's just two years ago. We are in the year 2020. I only threw her on there just so that I can uh, bitch and complain. I do have the Wasp on pre-order, and uh, I, I honestly, I can't wait to get her. I really, really can't wait to get her. Um, what else? What else was teased? Look at that. Ah, look at that. For, of course, you know, with the prototype, we're going to get something different. The Falcon. You guys remember the Falcon? Did you know that they teased, in 2018, a Infinity War Falcon? They sure did. This was my, uh, my redemption. I talked about the Falcon. I was happy with the Winter Soldier. If they would have released this one, this would have been the third version of the Falcon, I probably would have pulled the trigger just because Falcon really did a bang-up job kicking it up. Look at that. Avengers to be determined. Uh, well, they determined it's not going to get released. You know what else was pretty cool in 2018 that they teased from Infinity War? Scarlet Witch. Look at that. Look at that Scarlet Witch. This probably would have been my uh, first Scarlet Witch that would have entered my collection that I, I, uh, I, I would not have Fison. <laughs> that would not have gotten the Fison treatment. Uh, I was really looking forward to this one. I really, I, I honestly, I thought this was a done deal. To be honest with you, I really, really thought they were going to make this version of Infinity War Scarlet Witch just because uh, uh, she was just a badass in the film. Look at that. I mean, that's uh, to be determined, and they determined uh, one too many Scarlets that's been released is a little bit too much. Uh, what was her... Now, I know in Endgame, she played her back. Well, you know, they could have used this for Endgame. There was no uh, reason why they couldn't have uh, just uh, changed the badge and, and just released the, uh, the Endgame on this one. Another, uh, another improvement that I thought, I thought they were going to improve, was... Uh, was her boyfriend. Vision, that's right. Vision, the Avengers Infinity War. This would have been cool. Again, this one could have been retooled and it could have included an additional head where Thanos is plucking that gem out of his head. I mean, come on. How many of us would have uh, displayed Vision, the, the ghost 
<laughs> the uh, dismantled version of Vision. I th- I, I would have been cool. <laughs> It would have been creepy, though, as Hot Toys collectors got a display and vision all dismantled. The Children of Thanos. This this one, I wasn't holding my breath. to be. I, uh, no, I just, I don't know. Something about villains and, and offshoot villains. I was not expecting a Hot Toys to, to make this. It would have been cool, though. I think I would have been in. Corvus Glaive, to be determined. To be determined that he's been killed off. <laughs> Uh, this was cool. At the, I mean, they, they, they missed the boat on this. They really, really missed the boat. But hey, you know what? All I can do is just pout and uh, and moan about it uh, because they want to keep reissuing uh, certain diecast figures. <laughs> no, that's fine. I, I joke. I tease with you guys. Uh, you guys obviously wanted the uh, out uh, Outrider here. No, they weren't going to make this. This was a joke. This would have probably fallen to the wayside, sort of like the Chachari soldiers. That just, it wouldn't have worked. I just don't see them making a, a 1-6 scale Outrider. It would be cool for a background character. I, I just don't see them. I, I just don't think they would have ever made this. It was fun. I'm like, nah, I'm not, I, I wouldn't have gotten it. But the Children of Thanos, yes, I would have. I, I would have probably pulled the trigger on that. All right, let's hop into our Vortex. That was fun. Wasn't that fun? Guys, we, you know, we we as Hot Toys collectors, we have such a short attention uh, span for getting all that stuff they teased back in 2018. They teased a lot, they really did, and, and we just kind of moved on. Now let's let's time travel back to last year, San Diego Comic Con, and just kind of quickly recap a couple of the items that was shown. Again, this was this is a flex. The whole Jedi Starfighter, we knew. Uh, you know, shame on, on, on Hot Toys for, you know, shame on me for believing something like this would have been released. It would have been cool, but I there's just no way they would have done this. There's just no way. Now this, though, the war machine with the time suit, I thought that was coming out. I really, really did. Especially since Iron Man and war machine sells really well. But the time, the time machine that uh, Steve Rogers travels back, I thought this was a done deal. I really did. I, I love dioramas. I love sets. I love... Uh, pieces, diorama pieces that help uh, accentuate the uh, the actual figure, and I thought that they would have released it. Now, granted, this was just last year; they could still come out and release this, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think the energy, the momentum for Endgame has come and gone, and the time portal is gone. But what about this thing? What about the uh, Hall of Armor for the Spidey suits? I'd be down for that, right? I think that'd be really cool. Speaking of Spidey, we know that they've released uh, and uh, Scarlet. Uh, this is the uh, they've released the, uh, pre-order this version. This is the negative suit. What about the Velocity? You guys forget you were getting another Spidey. The Velocity suit. <sighs> yeah, I'll get it. I'll buy it. Hey, let's go back to droids. Can we go back to droids? They teased the Battle Droid. Oh, I want this Hot Toys Battle Droid. Give me droids. I want droids. I want Star Wars droids. Anyway, a little quick fun video, kind of recapping the nostalgia. Uh, like, subscribe, leave your comments below. Let me know if I've missed any figure that was teased in the last two years at San Diego Comic-Con that I may have missed. See ya!